happening now. We are focused on the fort with reaction from protesters here to what happened in Kenosha, Wisconsin. I've been in that, that scenario so many times that it was like that could have been me. The hurt is still felt here locally. Just pray for our country. Pray for our citizens. And pray for his family. Protests after a video apparently showing police shooting a black man in the back seven times in Kenosha, Wisconsin. This is the scene in Kenosha tonight where police and protesters have been clashing all evening. Late tonight, police used tear gas to try and disperse the crowd. There was a curfew there set for 8 p.m. Good evening. We're glad you're here tonight. I'm Tom Powell and I'm Linda Jackson. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Louis Tran has reaction from the fort to a story so many people across the country are talking about. He joins us live in studio. Louis. Linda and Tom. Protesters gathered in downtown Fort Wayne because of that shooting in Wisconsin. Now, one protester told me he's been protesting against racial injustice since late May. And tonight, he says enough is enough. And I must warn you, some of the footage in this story is graphic. Late Sunday night, protesters took to the streets in Kenosha, Wisconsin. After a video on social media showed police in Kenosha shooting a black man in the back seven times as the man opens a car door. NBC News reports that family members identified the man as 29-year-old Jacob Blake, who was in serious but stable condition following the surgery. Less than a day later, in downtown Fort Wayne, protesters shared their frustration. It was heartbreaking because, like, he really wasn't that much older than me. And it was like I've been in that, that scenario so many times that it was like that could have been me any day. I don't want my kids to go through that. They, they shouldn't have to see, you know, somebody that looked like us die every day or, or get shot at every day. And for Fort Wayne city leaders, almost city councilwoman Sharon Tucker tells me change needs to happen. The hurt is still felt here locally. And when you're working and you're trying to make a difference in the lives of people, um, it just really becomes a setback mentally. The officers involved in the shooting have been placed on administrative leave. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call released a statement today which reads in part, quote, the Wisconsin Department of Justice is vigorously and thoroughly investigating yesterday's officer-involved shooting in Kenosha. As with all investigations we conduct, we unwaveringly pursue, pursue justice in this case.